supposed to be that hard of an act to follow. <laughs> I still have to use notes. <laughs> Although I did write this an hour ago. <laughs> Uh, I am honored to be here on the traditional territory of the Esquimalt and Songhees First Nations. And I'm honored to be in this room filled with truly the happiest people in BC right now. <laughs> okay, I'm a storyteller. Sit back. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, I got a message on Facebook from a woman named Miriam. She reached out to me, asking me about negative things that were being said about Andrew. The attitudes described in this article concern me deeply, she said. I responded by telling her about our platform and telling her about my own experiences with Andrew, how he stepped up without hesitation to help us in Shawnigan, about his good humor, his friendliness, his true nature, how he supported the teachers in 2014, and how our platform puts public education as a top priority. She replied, thank you so much, Sonia, for responding to my concern. I'm heartened by your commitment to public education and will read the platform carefully. It means a lot that you took the time to get in touch with me. This morning, that was dramatic. <laughs> This morning, Miriam sent me another message. Hello again, Sonia. I just voted, and I'm feeling teary, because for once, I got to vote with my heart and soul. No compromises for strategic voting. I got to mark my X exactly where I wanted it to be, thanks to you. <laughs> this is what we've done, and it is profound. In a landscape of fear and anger, and negativity, we are giving people the options to vote with their hearts and souls. We are giving people the option to vote for something. We are giving people hope. We are giving people a real choice. I spent time in Duncan today, knocking on doors, walking in the market, dr dropping in at a health fair. And over and over again, people approached me to express gratitude. One woman teared up. She lives in Shawnigan. What you did for the water, she said. And then she couldn't complete the sentence. Others held my hands, hugged me, looked me in the eye. And over and over again, they thanked me for running a positive campaign. <laughs> Our campaign started six months ago on November 2nd. Six months. <laughs> They're all here. At Marydale Cidery. It was a dark, wintry evening, but inside it was warm and bright and brimming with happiness. Over a hundred people came out. And it was a bittersweet day. That morning, the BC Court of Appeal had ruled against the CVRD in the Shawnigan landfill case. We were once again devastated. I did an interview with a reporter who had been covering the case for nearly two years. At the end of the interview, I said, I'm never giving up. And he said, I know. <laughs> celebration of a new journey, an exciting journey, we had that pain and disappointment in our hearts, but we also had what we've always had, tenacity, determination, hope, and optimism. And my words that night remain as true 
today as they were then. I am done with feeling disappointment with my government. I am done with being angry. I am done with lowering my expectations. I'm done with feeling imperiled. I'm choosing hope, I'm choosing optimism, and I'm choosing to believe with Greens in the BC Legislature, we can change everything. <laughs> and I feel exactly the same way right now as I did on that evening six months ago. And this team of collaborators and innovators and leaders and game changers, this team is the most extraordinary thing that's happened in BC politics in a very long time. <laughs> Today, I cannot begin to express how proud I am to be BC Green. And I cannot begin to express how grateful I am to the people who have been on this journey with me. And you're going to have to bear with me a bit. And I'm sorry I have my back to you right now, but my heart is there. <laughs> to Luke, who has discovered that he is an astonishingly capable campaign manager and a true leader. <laughs> Laura. Laura has become a communications Jedi master, a den mother, the beating heart that holds us together, and the most amazing photographer that this province has ever seen. Just so you know, that wraparound on the Times Colonist, that picture, that woman right there. So that To Catherine, who's gotten us to over 7,000 doors and kept us knocking when we really, really, really didn't want to. <laughs> to Nicholas, my son, who has become the administrative backbone of our campaign and kept our family fed and healthy all the way through it. <laughs> To Karen, who has been a solid and steady rock, always there at the doorsteps. To Aaron and Mariana, who came to a meet and greet in December and never went home. <laughs> to Allison, who has organized so many spectacularly successful events and brought the wider community in over and over again. To Anne Marie, who has kept our social media channels humming with positivity to Sally, who's always been there ready to do whatever is needed and always helping to Cliff and David, who have stepped up to make sure we get out the vote, to the stalwart crew who have given so much time and energy, Esther, Sierra, Ron, Betty, Monica, Doug, Bethany, Greg, Donald, Ian, and Peter. <laughs> And to Jeannie, who reminds us that no matter what, we must do everything with love in our hearts. <laughs> dozens and dozens of door knockers, phone callers, letter writers, food makers, sign waivers, cheerleaders, and hundreds and hundreds who have supported our campaign with donations. We've already changed everything. We've already shown that in this beleaguered world of mudslinging, smearing, and fear-mongering, we've shown it can be done differently. Just like Jeannie has shown us, we can campaign with love.
in our hearts we can build community during an election not tear it apart we can create positive outcomes even before the ballots are cast this is what we bring and we will demonstrate beyond any doubt that more greens in the bc legislature will be the best thing that has ever happened to this province <laughs> Who has inspired us all, Adam Olson. Yeah. 